Um, December 11th, if you live in Toronto, come be in a video with me. More details in the description down below. What's up everybody? So 2015 for me has been a pretty big year for travel. I've done everything from riding trains, planes, and cars. I realized halfway through, those didn't rhyme. <laughs> cars. The main thing I want to focus on is air travel. So today's video is eight things that are wrong with air travel. Number one, we're gonna try and go in order here. Baggage. Some airlines will allow you one free bag. Some airlines will make you pay for every single thing that you bring on the plane. But the worst thing is that, okay, your bag is over 50 pounds by, say, two pounds. Well, sir, that's gonna be another $400. I get it, if everybody went four pounds over, then they would hit their max. But the thing is, no, I don't know what the thing is. It just, I hate it, I hate it. Number two, <laughs> the freaking announcements at the gate. It'll start off clear, and you're sitting there. Attention, folks, we have 549 departing at 499. And enjoy the ride! <laughs> the one thing I do sympathize with them is the, the name pronunciation. I've done Q&A's on my channel before, where I'm trying to pronounce somebody's name, and I totally butcher it. Well, that's, that's like them. Can, can Carl suck my ass? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said suck my ass. Can Carl suit me, Ace? Come to the front gate. Great, thanks. Number three. Now this is where we get on the plane. The reason I'm bringing this one up was because when I just got off my flight from Winnipeg, some guy gave trouble to the flight attendant for it, and I was kind of like, huh. He was kind of a dick, but he's not wrong. Basically, the flight attendants say you can only have earbuds in your ears. Now, I've been on many planes, and if I have earbuds connected to my phone, it's never a problem. But headphones are. Here's my ear hole. Here's an earbud. Look how close it is to my ear hole. It's inside my ear hole. Here's a headphone, here's the ear hole. What is the difference if I have my earbud inside my hole rather than headphones on top of my hole? I just said my hole. I should have probably clarified my ear hole. Number four, the food. Now, I get at this point because I've just named food, you guys are gonna say first world problem. First world problem. You said food. Not everybody has food. Let's move on from that. I've probably had more Pringles on an airline than I have off of an airline. For some reason, every airline offers Pringles. And they're not even like the Big cans or like the mini cans. Does anybody want to purchase any food or snacks? <laughs> you sir, yes, what do you want? Well, we have uh, mini Pringles and we have trail mix. Why does every airline have trail mix and who likes those other than hikers and hamsters? Oh, well that'll be $8. $8 for Pringles, are you kidding me? Number five, the entertainment system. Majority of airlines have it now. Majority of in-flight entertainment systems, you'll be like, oh, okay, TV, let me click it. You click the TV, you scroll through. Oh, great, they have Game of Thrones. Season five, episode 13. I haven't even seen season one, and you offer me season five. I wonder if it's like cheaper to buy those episodes. I don't know. Number six, boarding the plane. We're in 2015, and we still board the plane from front to front. Freaking back! It doesn't make sense. Why don't we load from the back, that way they can take as much time as they need to board, and then go to the front. We would board so much faster. But we have to do this class system. Number seven, reclining seats. I will never recline my seat on a short flight, because it's awkward. All right, I'm just gonna take some of your, I'm gonna take almost all your space. There. All right, you can no longer use your tray table either, so. It takes a certain type of person to recline their seats on a short flight. It's just awkward. I never do it. I'm just like, uh, do I ask? There's two types of people here. There's the aggressive guy who's like, Kadoosh! and then there's like the slow person that's trying not to get caught. There's like, Kadoosh! <laughs> and last but not least, number eight, the seat grabbers. What I mean by that is the people that are behind you that grab onto your freaking headrest, pull it to stand themselves up. Oh, okay. Overweight dude in 18E is going to take a shit. Not only that, there's also the people that have to touch every freaking seat as they make their way to the back where the washroom is. They're like, oh, excuse me, sorry, all right, all right, sorry, I just gotta go take a huge crap. On the way back, it's even worse, because you know they either touch their junk or they wipe their ass, and they're like, oh, sorry. Ooh, I'll have a Pringle, please. <laughs> Wet willy. <laughs> Why do you gotta do that? So there you guys have it. Those are eight things that I find wrong with airlines in this day and age. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned you can come and be in a video with me on December 11th, 2015. I don't know when you're watching this video. In Toronto. If you'd like to come, hang out, be in a video, fill out the form down below if you're only if you're going. Fill out the form 
down below. You will not be able to attend the meetup if you do not fill out the form. It takes two seconds, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Danocracy. You can follow me on Twitter at the Danocracy. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys later.